What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be talking about my top five finesse baits that I use. I use them all year long. Majority of the time though they're great for hot summer days, cold fall days, or freezing winter days. Uh, I caught fish on this last year in 14 degree weather before the ice covered the lake and that was on a hair jig. I tried everything in my arsenal small crankbaits, everything you, you will see in this video, did not get bit, and then I threw on a hair jig, and it was like, bam, bam, I caught four, back to back to back to back, um, I was throwing it on a seven foot medium spinning combo, and this is a tungsten hair tie jig, hand tie jig, sorry, I make them myself, uh, it's just easier to make them, get the stuff from the store cheap, and when you're in the winter blues like this, it takes up some time. Next on the list will be the finesse jig. This is a TRD bug on the back of this finesse jig. And the finesse jig is made by Flint at Battle Baits. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, you can see their finesse head style is that shroom design. And I love this. I absolutely love this. Stands up. Awesome action on that. That's actually a custom hand-tied Gobi Bryant color. Uh, the skirt is on that, and then this is a little heavier, beefed up style jig from Flint at Battle Baits. That has a baby rage, rage bug in moon juice color. Cannot wait to try that new color out. Um, next on the list, and actually, let me back up real quick. I throw the lighter one on spinning gear, eight pound line, and then I throw this bigger one on eight to ten pound line on my medium heavy seven foot bait caster it's a lose mach 2 um combo rod everything's the same there's no difference in the between the reel and the rod it's just a lose combo and crushes them can uh set the hook into them good get that light wire hook right into them next on the list is going to be a small finesse swim bait this is lake champlain lures 2.8 with the eh swim bait head from battle baits um I just throw this out, basically let it sink, let it sink, let it sink, and then just reel in, try to bump into anything that I can that's on the bottom. Them lethargic fish, when that little tail goes by them, it's hard to resist that. Uh, such an easy bait, especially when you're going that slow. It's so easy for them just to gulp it up and on to the next one. Is going to be... Anybody guess that? What I'm going to rig this with? The drop shot. Um, I'm going to use a tungsten weight around here. We, I don't really lose a lot of weights. Um, Fish Grand Traverse Bay, St. Clair. You're just kind of coming through some weeds sometimes. Not really a tons of rock dirt. You can find some spots, but just go ahead and throw that tungsten. If you're around a bunch of cover, trees, limbs, you're snapping off, you're getting irritated, just go to lead. They're cheaper than crap. Just order a bunch of lead ones before the season. But this bait is the Beast Coast Magic Flick. This is my favorite Drop shot bait. You can see when I hold it up, not even shaking. That thing just moves, does the same thing in water. I cracked a bunch of smallies up in Grand Traverse Bay on that same bait. And I actually think I think I caught five. It lasted five. But, eh, I don't know the average, but I'd say about five fish every time. Uh, great bait. Uh, it's not going to last as long as Z-Man, but you can't beat it. The smell is potent. It smells just like garlic. Uh, it's, it's very potent. The hook I use for that is going to be this hook right here from Gamagatsu. Everybody shies away from these light wire hooks. Like these things do not bend out. If you have your drag set correct, you can see the gear on here. Everybody's scared of this piece right here. Everybody's scared that's going to bend or break. I have caught fives, multiple fives on this. Um... I do not beef up my drop shot hook. I want to be down there. I want to be incognito. I don't want a big old hook shining. Um, it's a great sh or drop shot hook to use. Um, you don't get that pain in the butt of the octopus hooks or the you get it back and you're like, I have to cut my line and retie this for sure. That becomes a pain in the butt when you're on fish and you just want to catch fish. So try those. Don't shy away. Just set your drag right. You will not have no problems. If you're around giant fish, might want to beef it up to a size two. But, and last but not least, everybody knows what that's going to be. The Ned Rig. 
and I've been having an issue with throwing this open hook style here in Michigan. We have that annoying grass that's like this tall, and you come back all the time with a big old wad of grass on there, and it sucks, um, especially when you're doing it and you know you're around fish. It really sucks. So I went and started throwing this. I seen my buddy ordered a couple of them. This is a lifted jigs head. Um, it's an EWG Ned head. Uh, I have it paired up with the new Strike King Ned Rig Ocho, I think it's called. It's the Moon Juice color. I'm not sure if you guys can see that color very good. This thing's going to be money. I'm excited to use this. I might even try to track through uh, this 8 inches of snow that we got or 7 inches of snow and go try to catch some fish here this weekend, depending on the weather. If the water's froze, I'll save it for next year. But if not, I'm going to go out and try to catch some. I have confidence in all these that I could just go out there this weekend or today. I could go out right now before the water freezes and catch fish on these baits. Um, like I said, I have one of these tied on every single time I go out. There's never not a time where I don't have some of these tied on. Um, so yeah, just go get you guys some TRDs. Go get you some small swim baits. Excuse me. Acid reflux is killing me. And go out and just catch fish. Uh, in the comments below, tell me what your top five finesse baits are. And tell me where you're from. I'd like to see where you're from, what you're throwing. I don't want to steal your lures. If you got something secret, you don't even got to put it on there. Put something else. Um, I just like to see what you guys are throwing and interact with you guys. And see if you guys throw any of this stuff. Um, like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.